Shalom, Shalom Israel. It's your brother Ananias. For AOI, the awakening of Israel. Coming to you again this morning on the way to camp. You know, just uh once again bringing the reference, you know, to the folks who are out there celebrating these wicked pagan holidays. Come out of that. That is not an Israelite custom. That is not our tradition. That is not our heritage, our culture. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are God's chosen people, the Israelites. Christmas is not for us. Never has been, never will be. The Lord speaks against it all throughout the scriptures. But in society or in Babylon or the good old US of A, they make you feel like you want it, like that's a part of you. No, it's not. I just want to ask one question. After having your 30 minutes to an hour worth of fun time, so-called fun time, ask yourself, was it really worth it? You've been working for two, three months in advance, putting these toys and gifts on layaway, putting yourself in the poor house. Was it worth it for that whole 30 minutes to an hour worth of so-called fun? Was it worth it? You know, the kids didn't want to go to sleep last night. They itching just to open a gift, even though you ain't telling why they opening the gifts or the reason behind what you're doing because you don't know. But was it fun? Was it worth that 30 minutes to an hour worth of them ripping through gifts and throwing paper and trash everywhere? Now you gotta go slave over the stove. Now you waiting on your family members to come in so they can eat up your food, leave another mess for you. What else you waiting on? You waiting on the NFL, the damn Christmas Day game, the NBA Christmas games, so you can sit around and get drunk, have arguments, debates. And some is going to be tragedy in some households, whether you want to believe it or not. Yes, the Lord going to show out. You know, he going to let you know you're not supposed to be doing it. You know? But just want to ask, did you have fun? Because after you get through opening these gifts, sitting around looking at each other, what are you going to do? You're going to be ready to get out the house. And then you're going to be running around trying to find a store that's open and you know ain't nothing open. And then later on, you're going to be trying to find a club to go get into, to go spend some more of your money. What little money you had saved or what little money you got for Christmas. You're going to be itching to go blow that money. And that's what plagues us as a people. In Babylon the Great. We make more money and spend more money than any other nation. We spend more than the so-called white man, so-called Chinese man, Japanese, East Indian. You know? We spend more money than all these other nations. Amalek, which are the so-called Jewish people. We spend way more money than them. I mean, I went out yesterday just to go get some things for the house, you know, food for the Sabbath. And everywhere I went, you got Salvation Army bells ringing. You got the parking lots filled to the gill, filled with Jake everywhere. Jake don't ever come out like that, but because it's Christmas, last minute shopping, you know, we always late to do things. Last minute shopping, you got everything packed to the gill. You know, we need to come out of this nonsense. We on the way to camp right now. So we gonna catch you uh, ham hock, chitlin eating, uh, turkey frying, brothers and sisters. We gonna catch you at the camp, man. And we gonna give you some real knowledge, you know. We got to let you know. We got to give you that warning from the Lord, you know. Rain, sleet, or snow. Got to let you know. This custom that you participate in is wicked as hell. And in your mind, the enemy has put an image in there as to this is a time of family gathering. This is a time where we get together and celebrate and have good memories. But think about this. Why is it you only come together when your oppressor allows you to have a day off? That's the only time you decide to get together when they make it available for you. Think about how foolish that is. Rather than using your vacation time to come together as a family, what do you do? You wait for these so-called wicked pagan 
pagan holidays to come together as a family to celebrate wicked customs, which actually celebrate the downfall or the massacre of your own people. You know, crime rate goes through the roof all around the world. And you, why do you think that is? Why does it happen when it's supposed to be the most joyful time of the year? When everybody got their holiday cheer, their holiday spirit. Why is it that the crime rate goes through the roof? If it's such a happy time, why you got people, more people dying around the Christmas time? You never thought about these things, but all you're thinking about is buying gifts and celebrating the same thing you've been taught since you was a child. Just because you've been doing it forever don't mean that it's right. Hell, you've been cussing all your life. That don't mean that it's right, and you know it to be. Because when you go into them so-called churches, you ain't gonna cuss that pastor. You ain't gonna uh, cur curse that, uh, that police officer out when he pull you over for speed. You ain't gonna cuss your boss out when you at work. So you know that's wrong, but you've been doing it all your life. But nobody's ever told you that Christmas was wrong. Even though deep down in your spirit, in your soul, you know it's wrong. You know it's wicked. You know that it has no meaning. You just follow suit. And that's why you're going to see brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel constantly talking down against these wicked pagan holidays because we're going to give you the truth and give you the reason as to why you follow them and to why you shouldn't and the consequences when you do follow them. That's why you're going to see the brothers and sisters constantly teaching against these holidays. Beforehand, you didn't have a voice. Well, now we are that voice, you know? We giving you the knowledge and the understanding that you need to progress in this world, in this life you live. So, when you get ready to, or those thoughts even pop in your head, realize what's going on. Realize that Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Easter, uh, what else, 4th of July, Valentine's Day Those things are not in the Bible Do everything have to be in the Bible? Well, if it ain't What are you standing by? Or what are you living on? If you're not going by the scriptures Which are put in place For you to live a civilized life Only the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians Those laws were used to help you govern yourselves And to govern the world Because we are supposed to be the ruling class we are supposed to be the ones ruling this planet, whether you believe it or not. So those laws, statutes, and commandments were given to us for rulership, for our righteousness, for our wisdom, for our understanding. So if you're not abiding by the commandments, guess what? You're living a life full of madness, constantly struggling, trying to figure out which way to go. Everything is out of order because we as a people are out of order. Think about that. The whole world is defiled. Your food, your drink, the sky, the ground, the water, everything is defiled because the wrong people are in rulership. Job 9 to 24 tell you that the world is given or the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Therefore, if a wicked person is in rulership, do they know the right way to govern anything? No, they don't. But you've been conditioned here in America or Babylon the Great to think that they know what the hell they're talking about when they don't. They're going to continue to do what? mess things up, defile the planet, rooted in wickedness. So just keep that in mind when you get those thoughts or you see those commercials or those advertisements or those gifts on the shelf in the store that keep popping up two and three months before the holiday even get here. Right now you can go on a CVS or a Walmart and they're going to have Valentine stuff up, letting you know it's not about love, it's about money. Everything that they do is about money. Even the Covina, the COVID shot, the different variants. They're not gonna shut the economy down again because they seen how dreadful it was. They're gonna try any and everything, any and every trick they can to keep you dumbed down and to keep the economy flowing. Without the money, without that, they have no rulership. If you ain't got no money, you ain't got no power. Therefore, they're going to try any and everything to keep this economy going. They so-called economy. Supply and demand. 
So they're going to pull out every trick in the book to make sure that it exists and it continues. So when you go to the store today, tomorrow, and you start seeing Valentine stuff on the shelf, realize what's going on. It's not to build your family up in love, to speak love. It's to continue on in foolish, wicked traditions, which are all rooted in money. And what it's saying, Timothy, the love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil. What you're willing to do to get that money. And they willing to have you in sin and have you buying gifts two and three months ahead of time for Valentine's Day, for all these holidays. Think about that. And you celebrating it and don't even know what the hell they mean. So again, I ask you, was it worth it this morning? Christmas morning, was it? Was it uh, meaningful to you? Did you get enough pictures? Did you have enough stress throughout the process? Was it worth seeing the five seconds of smiles on your kid's face from you working three, four months, six, seven days a week? Was it enough? Was that what you wanted? Was that satisfying? Now they back to arguing. Now they back to being disobedient to you. Now they back to jumping in front of that TV and that phone and that tablet and ignoring the hell out of you. Was it worth it? For you to give all these disobedient, disloyal kids that don't listen, that don't focus, that have no passion to drive, to open them gifts for that 30 minutes to an hour to get a smile and a picture, was it worth it? The message of the Bible is come back to who you are. The message of this class is to come back to who you are. Repent, meaning turn away from your sin. What's sin? Breaking God's commandment. What's one of his commandments? He tell you don't follow the ways of the heathen which is the customs of these people. Think about what you're doing before you do it. Realizing that sin brings death. The reward of sin is death. Romans 6 and 23. We're gonna keep stressing that because we gotta get our people out of these wicked customs. You know? Stop giving your money, stop giving your time and energy to make them rich. To continue in, root your family and your generations to come in wickedness. Stop following the trends or the ways of this world. Be not conformed as my brother brought out last night. You know? By the way, before I get off this call, make sure you share this content to your brothers and sisters that need to know what's going on. Go to our YouTube page. Go to the website, theawakeningofisrael.org to learn more about who you are and what's required of you as an Israelite man, woman, or child. You know? Subscribe, comment, ask questions. Our people don't like to ask questions. We like to follow suit, go by word of mouth. We like to give facts. We like to follow the Lord, the scriptures. Give real knowledge, understanding. So hopefully, you learn something about this class, about this quick video, you know? Hope we were edified. Hopefully next year, you say the hell with Christmas, the hell with Thanksgiving, the hell with Halloween, the hell with Valentine's, the hell with Easter. You put all of it to the side on the back burner. You eat it where it's at in the back in the past. And once again, want to give all honor, glory, and praise for the Most High God of Israel, because He is the one who controls all things. He is the Creator of the heaven and the earth and everything therein. So that's why we praise him. You know, he woke you up this morning. And Lord willing, he protect you throughout the day and continue to provide the things that you need. Other than that, everything else is folly, madness. You know, when you ain't living by his code, by his commandments, by his way of life, everything else is full, full of madness. You know, so the message is once again, repent, Come back to keeping the commandments. Love yourselves, love your family. Most importantly, love the Most High God. And how do you do so? By keeping His commandments. And I'm Brother Ananias for AOI, the Awakening of Israel. And I say shalom to you all.